All right, I'm back. Let's go see what I can find today. I feel like it's really hard to find a Rempel that the rubber isn't completely hardened. Uh, this one is so adorable. It's got a little damage on its ear, but surprisingly, these ones don't sell for that much. I think 12 is retail. I love these fuzzy ceramics. Uh, I'm gonna open this thing up, make sure it's not broken. Uh, that was definitely a two-handed ordeal. Uh, they look in really good condition, honestly. They're $8, which is a steal of a price. I'm gonna go ahead and get these. These style salt and pepper shakers are pretty hard to find, especially if they're not broken. Uh, 18 isn't far-fetched. The last couple I've had in this style have all sold anywhere from $30 to $40, but I'm not too crazy about the shape of the shakers on the donkey. I wish they were hearts, like the last pair I had. Whoa. I don't remember this being here. To say I'm overwhelmed is an understatement. Uh, this little egg's cute, but there's so much happening right here. Mm, sweet, but these bunnies are really what I'm after. I think that's a little close after fees though. This is one of those booths where I just want to buy everything and not care about profit. This thing is so cool. Man, like, how am I supposed to leave this here? 25 is a good price for a collector. I mean, I'd buy it, honestly, but not for resale. It's so great, though. Oh, wow, it's Moody Mary. Oh, I love these. Uh, it's really hard to find these in good condition. For $20, I won't double my money, but it seems like a very important item to have. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Gosh, this thing's so wonderful. There's so much quality and so much that I like in one small space. Uh, $20 is too high for resale. I'm starting to feel a little nutty. This is cute. As is. I don't like that. Hmm. I don't even know what to do. Oh, look at this. I love anything with red shoes. She's so happy. School South student, that's too cute. And I love those wall plaques in the back. Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh, I just want everything. She is hilarious. Man, I really relate to her. Her facial expression is everything. 15, mm, probably too close, but man, I really want those Mother Goose wall plaques in the back. Um, does this lemon have a sombrero? Oh, it says grapefruit, but gosh, that is spectacular. 26. Uh, I'm not sure if I can swing that, but man, it's really phenomenal. Whoa. Giant boudoir elf shoes. What? These are so weird. They're so big. <laughs> oh, they literally say pixie boot slippers. What? $20. What a novelty are those. Man. <laughs> oh, this little hairbrush. 18? Yeah, 18. 18 is definitely too high for me, but gosh, this thing is so cute. No way. Peter Max? This is incredible. Oh, and $25 is like practically free for this. I have a friend who would love this. I tried to buy one for him at auction recently. It went for like 180 bucks. Okay, I'm crazy for these. Oh, it's five for 48. Hmm. There's definitely some room, but I would have to sell them individually, and I don't think I want to split the setup. I'm going to have to think about it. Oh, these bookends. 45. Mm, hard pass. Gosh, what is this? Oh. <laughs> wow. What? 
This picture is pretty neat too, but it's a little close and also it's got a chip. Hmm. Wait, there's something hiding down here. I just pulled these gems out. They're 28 for the pair, which for a collector is a steal of a price. I mean, I'm tempted to get them. I don't know what I would do with them, but they are phenomenal. I'm not sure if I want to ship them though, honestly. Bam, in your face. Everything in here is amazing. Unfortunately, it's not reseller's price. This desk caddy is pretty different. All right, I decided to keep going and move away from that booth. This is super cute. Um, let's see. Graphics are super happy. Looks all right to me. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm really into this dog's vibe. $12. Uh, if he was a little less chipped up, I'd probably do it. Just cause his face really unique. Oh, I like this owl. $10. It's cool that he can hang on the wall or lay flat. Uh, I think I'd probably be able to get like 17, 18 minus fees. And after all I've seen today, I'm not the craziest about it. This is a fun tin. It's only $6. Uh, I do kind of wish there were more of them, though. It's a super fun design. I really like the design of this. It's cool it's got its lid and a tray. Eight dollars? <laughs> That's awesome. I'm definitely going to take this. That's a steal of a price. Huh. Whoa. I've never seen this before. Anything anthropomorphic, for sure. Especially three dollars. That's a steal. So much cuteness. All right, these little diaper pins are too cute. Five dollars for these chicks, and then the ducks. Yeah, I'm taking all this. How adorable are they? And who can say no to this face? For seven dollars, I'm definitely taking this little rattle. But wait. There's more. Man, there's so many of these little real fur animals. Three dollars? That's insane. I'm definitely taking the cat. What about this little elephant? He's cute. Five dollars? Yes, please. Oh, monkey. <laughs> Three dollars? This place is really killing it right now. But, eh, I think I've done enough. Or maybe I haven't. Mouse. This mouse is $4, and I think he needs a good home. This is a cute little doll trunk. What's up with this duck? Hmm. I kind of wish I knew what he was advertising. I'm undecided about the piglet. Uh, I like the roux, $6. Piglet 6 too, but I had them pretty recently and it took them a little bit to sell. The Rue is really adorable, but it looks like he's missing a whisker. That Annie's kind of creepy. I like her big eyes. $10. Ooh, this is a good one. He looks perfect too. But $20 is pretty much what I get for it after fees. I like the lovebirds. It's Astra, it's cool, but let's see, $12, it's got a chip. I can't forget that. Little fire tuck. Uh, he is a hobbyist piece, he's only $4. I can forgive that it's not the original, but it looks new. This is a fun sugar and creamer, $5, $5. Well, I love the polka dots. <laughs> uh, it's got a little hairline on the top lid here, but for $5, I'm not really gonna think twice about it. Red Riding Hood. Uh, she's kind of messed up, and her face isn't speaking to me the most. I'm gonna leave her behind. This is such a cute little hanky. 
It's only $3. I love the old children's handkerchiefs. I'm gonna go ahead and get it, but actually I should make sure there's no surprise waiting inside. Yeah, no, this thing looks great. Oh, I love this sailor duck. He's $12. Oh, he does squeak. Mm, this one usually sells for about $30, $35. He's not perfect, but he's pretty adorable. I'm going to go ahead and take him. All right, I'm reaching the end here. Feeling a little nutty. I love the Santa. These usually sell pretty well. Um, but I don't think this particular one sells for that much. Uh, 14 might be high for resale. Funky telephones. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the graphics are wearing off a little bit on these. They're kind of an unusual color. I'm not a big fan. These are fun too. I like the king and queen. They're in pretty good condition. They're $10, but eight after the discount. They usually sell between like 20 and 25. I'm gonna go ahead and take them. And these caught my eye. I'm just making sure there's no hula girl on them. They're a little beat up, they're fun, but if they had a hula girl on them, I'd have to get them. But I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I just had a moment of panic. I've been running around looking for my basket. I think that's a good sign it's time to stop. Mm -hmm.